Yo, what's up guys? It's Christian with Low Key Colors, and today we're going to rank all the guitars I could beat in a guitar battle. Let's make this clear, this is a guitar battle, not an actual fight, because look at me, I'm, I'm 260. I'm 260, bro. So I can take all these guys on a fight with the one hand tied behind my back. It's not gonna be a challenge at all. So we're gonna do a guitar battle. So you've seen that movie, I actually don't know what the movie is, but at least called Crossroads, they do a guitar battle. That's what we're gonna do. Maybe have some drums, some backing tracks, and we're gonna rate from different tiers how many guitarists I can beat in the fight. The tiers are Shadow Realm tier. I hear the Shadow Realm's lovely this time of year. Let's find out if it's true. Basically, I will send you to the Shadow Realm. Easy, no diff, 0% chance. Next one is Smoke tier. I'm gonna smoke you in a fight, but there is a chance that you could beat me. Next one is even match. 50-50, I, I could lose, I could win, and sits the coin toss. Next one is lucky shot. So these guitars, I probably have no chance, but oh, I could always throw in a, a left hook or something just to win, right? You never know. And the next one is rip tier. So I'm pretty much dead, no chance, give up, throw in my, throw in my guitar, I'm a loser. So first guitar on the tier list we have is Birth. Now if you don't know Birth, I think he's from Europe, maybe Sweden. He's a monster guitar player. I see him on my YouTube shorts. I think he mostly does metal. He does like even like new stuff. He can pull stuff. So he's probably one of the most versatile players out there. So I'm gonna put him in the RIP tier. I have no chance with this guy. He is a freaking monster player. Maybe, you know, if I sabotage his gear beforehand, maybe detune it, I might win, but 0% chance of winning. Next one. This guitarist, I have no idea how old he is. I think he's from Canada. He looks like he's 17. He is Brandon Dion Music. Now this guy, okay, I know he plays the Telecaster. I know he's really good at guitar, he can shred. I watch his videos teach me how to do some things. But there are a few things I think I could beat him with, right? He's very technical. He's very good at improvising. But I feel like his playing is a little bit mechanical. So if we're on stage and we're battling, he does his cool sweeps or whatever, I think sometimes there's no personality behind that. So maybe I could throw in some bends, maybe throw in a couple stage moves. I would have to beat him on, on what's the word for it? Cool, on the cool factor, right? So it's like battling a kid. Maybe the kid's smarter than you, but you got wisdom, you got experience. Maybe I play behind my back. I do like a weird hump move, something to, to, to woo the audience over. And that's how I would beat this guy. So I'd put myself in Lucky Shot tier. Next guitarist. This guitarist is an OG. I have no idea how old this guy is too, but I've been watching him since I was like 15. It is Rob Scallion. Rob Scallion? Rob Onion, whatever this guy's name is, okay? He's a monster player as well. He inspired me to do like slap guitar and all those things. Now, how would I battle this guy? Hmm. So he's played live shows, he's played on stage, he does lots of genty stuff, right? So how would I counter him? I think I would counter him through, hmm, this is a hard one, he's a really, really good player. Hmm, how would I do it? Would, how would you guys beat Rob, Rob Scallion, Rob, Rob Scallion, Rob Scallion? How would you beat him? Okay, I got the player. I would do the opposite of what he plays, right? I wouldn't try to match this guy for skill, because he would slap me, he would out shred me. So I would do the opposite. I'd go like a more Fushante approach. He goes all the fast, technical stuff. I would go a little bit more emotional. Bands, you know? Big bands, boomer bands. <laughs> and, um, you know, really simple things and kind of make it catchier for the audience. And I think in terms of overall damage, that might be a good way to beat this guy. So I would say, I would win, even match. Next guitarist, okay. This guitar's a chick, Sophie Burrell. I see her on my feed a lot for, you know, obvious reasons, I like guitar. Um, she has really powerful thighs. She's actually, I think we're competing for who has the best thighs in all of the guitar game. Um, she's also a monster player. I see her cover like Chimera, playing God. I can even play those songs. So we know she's already technically better than me. So she's a really, Fucking good player. Now, if we do guitar battle, how would we win? I think the audience would be on her side, right? So I would have to win the audience over. Hmm. 
This is a hard one. Honestly, I think this is an RIP tier already because she's gonna play, I'll probably be standing at her legs, be too distracted, so, you know, obvious RIP tier right here. Okay, next guitar player. I see him on YouTube shorts all the time. His name is Mikey P P P P P P P Skoko. Mike Michael Pip Peppy Pip P Skoko. Whatever his name is, Mikey P P P P P. We'll call him Mikey P. Mikey P. He's also a monster guitar player. Now he's not like the other guitarists who are more metal and technical. He's more like a, a blues rock kind of funk guy. He's kind of like my style of playing, right? Very Jimmy Jimmy Hendrix. He's basically modern day Jimi Hendrix. Now his playing is really good. I see him do the stage moves. He does the behind the back. He does with the teeth, all that stuff. So we could definitely, you know, battle out with stage moves. In terms of technical skill, I'm not very technical, guys. I, I know I might, some of myself might be hard, but I'm not that technical. He's definitely more technical than me, right? His playing is really good. I think of his playing as pick strips. He does a lot of strumming, a lot of pick strips. Strumming, pick strips. So to be more of a Jimi Hendrix player, you'd have to go in the opposite direction. So I would do more metal playing to overpower his blues style. So he would come with some Hendrix chords, some blues riffs, you know, blah, 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 blah. I would come in with straight chugs. Read my turn, I go boom. I do some, some chugging, you know, make sure to, to drop E. Yeah, the whole octave down. And I would show this guy the power of metal. So this guy, I think I would smoke him. Let's be honest, you know, I, I'd smoke this guy. No, you know, it's pretty easy. Next one. This guitarist, this guy also, he's like the opposite of Brandon Dion. I think he's older, but he still looks like he's 17. Steve Tiberi, Steve Tamer Berry, Steve, Steve Berry, we'll call him Steve Berry. Okay, monster player. He is a really good, another metal guy. Um, so in terms of technical skill, I'd probably lose again. So I would do the opposite of him. He'd probably just shredding, the sweet picking, some tapping, all that stuff. I would go in the opposite route. I'd do some bends, I'd do some more boomer bends. I'd just do lots of bends if I were to fight him. Because you gotta remember, if you, you have to, when you, when you fight somebody, you, you can't play at their own game, you know? If they're better than you at this, don't even attempt it. It's like UFC. If I was fighting Conor McGregor, would I strike with this guy? No! I'd probably take him down and I'd grab and pound him out, right? This guy is Steve Tamer, he's shredding. I would do the opposite. I would strip down the basics, big bands, pentatonic licks, make it really, really simple, okay? And I think this would win over the audience because I've played shows where we've played after metal bands, before like technical prog rock bands, and our bands, you know, they say, oh, it's stuff's really catchy, right? So if you're battling the shredder, gotta make that shit catchy. So I would put myself with Steve to B Steve Barry in the even match tier. Okay, next guitarist. Is he really a YouTuber? Uh, I mean, maybe. I think he started off on YouTube. His name is Ashika Nito, Japanese guitarist. Really good, really math rocky, finger picky, you know, tapping, all that stuff. He basically sounds like a, a Nokia ringtone, if I were to, to dumb it down. Um, this guy, really good. I know he plays in a few bands, some like metal bands stuff too, so we know he, he can shred. But this guy, I'm gonna be honest, his playing is good, but his playing is only limited to like 30 seconds. You know, that's why his videos are only 30 freaking seconds, right? So I think I would, I would, in, in MMA terms, I would gas him out. You know, if we're doing multiple five rounds of guitar battling, I let him win round one. He wins round one. Wow, he's so good. Round one, amazing. But then rounds two, three, and four, you're gonna get tired of hearing that same tappy shit over and over again. So I would beat this guy by TKO. I let him gas himself out, and then for later rounds, I would take over with my simple pentatonic licks, you know, blues licks, and destroy this guy. So this guy, even though he's good, He's going to the Shadow Realm. He's being banished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Next here, another OG of the game. This is Jared Dines, man. This guy, oh, man, he's, he inspired me to Jet, even though I don't even play Jet. I was like, I'm like Christian, play guitar. I was in middle school. I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, what are you doing? I'm genting out, bro. Right? <laughs> All right, good memories. So this guy, 
Is he a guitarist? Maybe. I think he plays drums as a main, but he's still a great shredder, right? And in terms of fighting him, I think this would be a pretty easy match, guys, because let's be honest, Jared dies, he middies all this stuff, so all I would do is just let him play. Like, oh shit, I don't have my Mac with me, I can't program my freaking guitar solo. And boom, I would win, same style as Nito, just let him, let him do it, and he'll lose by himself. So, Shadow Realms here. Next one, I've seen this chick on my YouTube a lot, very, uh, you know, in thighs, S plus tier. We're going with um, Brazilian Guitar Girl, what's her name? Let me search it up. Brazilian Guitar Girl. Larissa Liver, Larissa, L Larissa Liver, Liverier. Brazilian Guitar Girl. Now, I, all I see her do is covers. I see her do covers, I don't see her do any original songs. So in terms of originality or creativity, Maybe she's not very good at improvising. Maybe she's not very good at, you know, actually playing stuff that's your own. So, in terms of the creativity, I gotta be there. In terms of looks, I mean, I'm 260. We all know that, but I probably lose in looks too. And in terms of actually fighting uh, this guitarist, I would probably just too be busy looking at them play. So, I'd be distracted. I'd, I'd forget I'm in the uh, I'm in the guitar battle, and she would win by knockout. So, you know, RIP to you there. Next guitarist. I don't know if you know this guy, but he has a couple viral videos. His name is James Sent. He's like the Australian version of Tim Henson, right? So he did like, if Polythia wrote this song or whatever, really good guitar player. Just like Nito, his playing kind of sounds like a Nokia ringtone. Now, in terms of his playing style, how would I beat this guy? Hmm. I feel like with this kind of new style of playing, it could get kind of boring pretty quick, right? You, you can only hear so many notes so many times without getting bored. So just like the Nito battle, I let him do a really cool riff maybe for rounds one and two, and then rounds three to five, I would take over with some basic, you know, basic legs, basic shredding, basic pentatonic stuff. So this guy, I'm putting him in the smoke tier because there's always a chance he could have a big repertoire of licks but I think they could get boring. So, this guy's getting smoked. Next guitarist. His name, he, is, he needs an introduction. His name is Tyler Larson from Music Is Win. This guy got, got the hot wife, that's what I remember him from. But he's also a monster guitar player. He's very in the middle of like style. He's very technical, but also very bluesy rock at the same time. So he's a really, really good guitar player. I think this guy, he could probably outshred me with his hands behind my back. So, this guy's going to easy RIP tier. Boom, RIP tier there. Next one. We all need no introduction. You know, hey guys, Marty Schwartz here. Marty Schwartz, the OG guy. This is the guy who taught me how to play guitar. He taught me the pentatonic scale. He taught me all the chords that I know. This guy is the teacher. I was the grasshopper. He was the master. He doesn't even know me, but he was the guy who taught me guitar. So thank you, Marty. You changed my life. But now the teacher has to be surpassed by the student. This guy, you know, his women's hits are kind of blues, classic rock, or beginner songs. He talks to me teachers. He teaches beginners. So I'm no longer a beginner, Marty. I'm gonna smoke you. Actually, I'm sending you to the Shadow Realm. You're going in Shadow Realms here. <clears throat> Next guitarist, we all know her from that viral playing my tube screamer video, Mimi Sounds. Yes, Mimi Sounds. I think she used to be an ice skater, but now she's a guitar player. Her guitar playing, you know, it, it's all right. I get distracted when playing. And to be honest, her skill, you know, it, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, in terms of fighting her, foul her, I think it would probably be a lose for me, but I do think I have a lucky shot with her because Unlike the other two girl guitar players, uh, her playing is a little, a little more toned down, right? I think her tone is not as great, her skills maybe not as good as those two, so I put her in lucky shot. Next guitar player, we know him from Sweden. He has the most soothing voice in all of guitar. His name is Paul Davids. Really nice beard, really, really handsome looking guy, right? Now, his playing, you know, I would describe it as your average four-year-old guitar player. Very nice, very classical, very, you know, very good 
good player. It's all around good player. But I've never heard him play stuff. I just, I just, I only watch his breakdown, so I have no idea how good he is at playing. So, in terms of that, the Swedish guy, he goes in Shadow Realm tier. Boom. I'm knocking you out easy. Next guitar player. We all know him. I think he's half Asian. Who knows? His name is Samurai Guitarist. Now, is he an actual samurai? I'm not sure. I know he has long hair and he has the Japanese look. So that's why it's Samurai Guitarist. So, in terms of finding this guy, what does he play? He plays country. He plays some rock. He plays some... That's it. He plays country and he plays rock. His playing is really good, but sometimes I feel like it's, it can get boring. People keep saying that you're playing, he's having soul, emotion, blah, blah, blah. Why are you here playing? You know, it's... Sounds like guitar playing, there's nothing special. So this guy, I put him in the smoke tier. He's, he's being smoked. Next guitar player. <laughs> this guy is the funk master. He looks like my dad. <laughs> he looks just like my dad, but he's nicer than my dad. He is Tomo Fujita, the Japanese guitar legend. This guy taught John Mayer. He's taught Tyler Larson. He's probably taught Monty Schwartz for all we know, right? This guy, he's a funk master. So how would I beat this guy? You know, he has a huge guitar skill. He's gonna funk it up. You know, he's gonna funk me up for the first couple rounds. But to fight a funk guy, to fight a guy who plays clean, you gotta fight dirty. And by that, I mean game. You gotta crank the game. I'm gonna chug. I'm gonna play 0001, And I'm gonna jet all over this guy. So this guy, you know, I'm gonna put him in an even match because, you know, you never know about, about this player. I think he could have more up his sleeve. Last but not least, we have the old guy of YouTube, the old guy of guitar, Rick Biano. And yes, we know your kid has perfect pitch. That's all I see on his YouTube shorts. Oh, my kid has perfect pitch, right? How would I beat this guy? This guy would be easy. He's a great player, but he is so focused on being a jazz guy, so focused on breaking up other songs. So, What's gonna what happen is round one, I would play first, and then round two, he would just break down my stuff. I'd, I'd play some lick and he'd be like, wow, he's playing an A minor pentatonic. Wow, he's doing the bend here. So he'd be too focused on breaking down my technique, but I would destroy him. He wouldn't even play. He'd be like, where's the microphone? I'm gonna break down his solo. So boom, that's the easiest shadow rounds here. Bam. And that is my tier list, guys. If you want a part two of other guitarists, comment below. If you hate this video, comment below. If you think this is cringy, comment below, subscribe, like, and I'll see you soon. Peace.